Hello, Chris Tangeris here, Rational Acoustics Rally Car Driver. I'm um, going to show you through uh, the concepts and configurations within Smart V7 DI. Uh, so right now I'm launching the program and it's pulling my computer's operating system for available uh, I.O. devices. When it's finished, I'll launch the program. So uh, we'll just start from the right hand side of the control strip here. Uh, this is the input device magic button and its corresponding input device drop down menu. So all the available I.O. devices in my computer are going to show up here. Now, for measurement purposes, I'm only going to be using my OctaCapture and my Smart I.O. And you can see I've already given uh, the OctaCapture a friendly name. So let's go ahead and I'll, and I'll show you more about that. Um, so here we have the, the driver names. And it says you can see the driver shows up as Core Audio OctaCapture. And I've renamed it Chris's OctaCapture. Uh, and then so what I'm going to do, because I'll, as I said, I'll only be using the Smart I.O. and the OctaCapture, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hide uh, the other interfaces that my computer sees. So when I relaunch DI, uh, if I have my Smart I.O. connected, which I'll show you in a later video, uh, that will be the default device. And if not, it'll always go to the OctaCapture. Okay, so the way that we are getting measurements in DI is basically there's uh, two spectrum engines which are paired to one transfer function engine so uh, when you launch the default configuration is input one and two on the spectrum which are tied to measurement and reference of the transfer function so input one is a measurement and input two is a reference signal so the way I have my IO configured is I'm going to be using the pink noise generator and I have the device OctaCapture selected and then main output seven and eight now 7 is going to a loop back, which is going right to input 2 of the interface, and output 8 is going to an equalizer, which is in front of a speaker that we'll be measuring later. So let's verify that we're getting our signals. I'm going to press play on input 1, make sure it's on OctaCapture, and there's my microphone. I also have a microphone in input 3. The levels are, are the same. Um, and then input 2 is noise, and input 4 is a equalizer, which we won't be able to, to show it's making any sound until we turn the pink noise generator. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can see input 2 is leveling here. Okay, so I'm getting all the signals that I want to see. Uh, so let's go ahead and give our inputs friendly names because that way we're clear on what we're going to be measuring. So input one, by double clicking in front the friendly name channel for the Octa Capture and input one, I'm going to name that uh, uh, M30 because I'm using a, a M30 Earthworks microphone. Input 2 is going to be the generator loopback, so we'll call that gen loop. Enter. Input 3 is a second microphone, uh, which is an iSEM phone, so we'll call that uh, iSEM. And input 4 is the EQ, which is a uh, physical Y split on the output of the equalizer back to the input, so it's a purely electronic measurement. Okay, so now I've got all these different channels set up, you know, and I'm going to be switching back and back between them. But what I want to do is have uh, many configured pairs for when I'm doing the transfer function measurements. So this first uh, pair that I'll be using will be uh, the M30 against the generator. So I'm going to name that uh, my uh, M30 or mic one pair. Uh, so here in the transfer function area, next to the hammer and sickle or hammer and wrench, which is the shortcut to get to measurement configuration, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, is an aperture icon. So I'm going to select on the aperture icon, and this is going to give a this is a shortcut to give a quick name to uh, the configured pair. So we'll call this uh, M30, uh, and then I'm going to change the microphone signal and and change it to iSemcon. So now it's the isemcon against the generator and again you see the transfer function change back to default 
So we'll name this uh, ISM. And now uh, I want to compare the EQ to the generator. So we'll have EQ there. And then again, the, the transfer function name change back to default. So we'll change this to EQ. And now we have uh, configured pairs. It looks like I have uh, configured pairs from a previous session. So uh, now's a great time to show you the measurement configuration dialog. I'm going to go and I'm going to delete uh, these pairs that I'm not going to be using. So system, EQ, uh, smart IO. I won't be using any of those pairs. So I just have the three that I am using. Uh, so in here we see that. Uh, we have the basic settings for our measurements. Uh, you can choose to invert the trace, which is what I'm going to do for the equalizer, because when I do a gain or boost, I would like that to show as uh, inverted so I can do a cut and have it show up as a boost in Smart so that I can actually match the equalizer trace to the magnitude trace. Uh, so that is an exception. A uh, live measurement, you typically would not invert the trace. So here we see uh, the measurement and reference averaging for the spectrograph are linked and as are the weighting. Uh, we won't be dealing with weighting uh, for the purposes of these videos. Uh, and then transfer function, our FFT sizes are multi-time window, which is a default setting. And uh, we'll, we'll use uh, one second averaging and no weighting. Okay, so uh, we'll just... Uh, uh, Go to transfer function mode by pressing T on the keyboard, or you can also select the, the button here in the window views. And we'll just uh, we'll just play uh, through some signals to make sure that we're getting uh, to, to generate some traces. So I'm going to switch to the M30 pair, and I'm going to activate the noise and activate the transfer function. Track button delay. And we'll we'll do one more with the EQ. Okay. So now we've uh, we've generated three captured traces. Uh, these will be our starting points for our measurements. Please come by and check out more videos on DI. We'll pick it up from where we left off here. Thank you very much.